Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. Uh, today we are going to work in um, level 3, PSL book 3A, Yellow Junni and Yellow Book. And we are going to work on lesson 20 today. So go ahead and open your book on page 73. And um, it's an interesting lesson. You know, there are five letters in Punjabi that make two sounds. Um, Kagga and um, that makes a g and k right sound k and g uh, chajja makes a sound ch and j um, then we have tada that makes a sound t and d and tada that makes a sound t and d and then pabba makes a sound p and b they're called tonal tonal letters so and they're difficult to read and they change the pronunciation and they're also um, difficult to write Right, because you don't know which uh, sound you should be writing, which but is the is the letter tada, right? So um, this is a lesson. I'm going to try my best to teach you this one today. Um, tada. So this is tada. It can make the sound t or d. T when it comes at the beginning, d when it comes at the end, right? And it's one of the language standards that you know the sounds of all the letters. Like in English, you know sounds of all letters, right? So just like in Punjabi, you have to learn sounds of all the letters, right? Tada. This is tada, right? Here you can see it. It makes two different sounds. One if it comes in the beginning and a different sound when it's used in the middle or at the end of a word. This letter does not have a comparable sound in English. No. To, there's no to sound in English. Your teacher will teach you the sound of tada, and I'm your teacher today, and I will teach you the sound. <coughs> so this is the letter symbol to tada. Letter tada. That's a letter name tada. T sound when it's used in the beginning, like in tid. Your tid is your stomach, your your abdomen or stomach. Both are called tid in Punjabi. Tada when it's used in the middle of a word, like in gund or end of the word, right? Um, pund, so uh, and when it comes at the end or the middle, uh, you will say the d sound. Now, there's a, it's a short poem um, with a lot of tada in there, so let's go ahead and read it. You can listen to me and then we will read it together. Tada kanda taya da, tada kanda taya da, tid with a tanka, Gand which dada ikko akkar do avaza tanke dade da meal hai tada. Okay, ikko akkar do avaza. One letter, two sounds. Now say it after me. Tada kenda taya da. Tada kenda taya da. Tid which tanka. Gand which dada ikko akkar do avaza tanke dade da meal hai tada. Tanke dadde da meal hai tada. And there are only 25 words in this poem. And you should be able to read this poem in one minute. So after we stop the video, you're going to read this poem again. Here's a short story. And this also has lots of tada words in it. Okay, so I'm going to read to you. Then we can read together. Then you will answer questions. Okay, now your standard is that you can read short poems and stories and passages by yourself. So here's a picture of a jut um, with uh, two panda, two sacks of uh, onions. Ganda is um, onion. Ek bari jat ne khet vich gande biche. Jad gande pak gaye, ta usne gande putte, gandeyan da ter lag gaya. Jat ne gandeyan di ek pand bani. Pand nu gand mari, pand pari si. Usne ek pand diya, do chotiya panda badaya, do me panda gade utte rakhiya, aap vi bat gya, tagge ne gada khichya, jat gande lake kar chala gya. There are total 65 words in it. We should be able to read in less than two minutes. Okay, now read after me. Ek wari, jat ne, khet vich, gande bije. Jad gande pak gaye, उसने गंडे पुट्टे गंडियां दा तेर लग गया जाट ने गंडियां दी एक पांड बननी पांड नू गंड मारी मीन टाइड नाट 
Mari means kill, but it, this one means tied a knot. Pand parisi. Pand was heavy. Usne ek pand diya do chotiya panda manaya. Do me panda gadde utte rakhiya. Aap vi bat gya. Tagge ne tagga is ox. Gadda khichya. Jat gande lake kar chala gya. Excellent. Now next time you will read by yourself. Okay. And read it so that you can read in less than two minutes. Okay. So um, I'm going to teach you a grammar lesson today. So you know you have to make plurals, right? We say boy, boys, girl, girls, book, books, pencil, pencils, right? But we also say man, men. We say child, children. So there are different ways to make plurals, right? In Punjabi also, there are different ways to make plurals. And there are some rules we can remember. There are some words that have no matra at the end, right? So here's a, a word, jat. We can say ik jat, do jat. The word doesn't change. For example, um, one hair, many hair, right? Uh, one fox, many Oh, foxes, that's not right. Um, one, what other? Deer, right? One deer, two deer, right? So we also say deers, for example. If we have a feminine mukta word, if, uh, then we can add a kanna and a bindi, right? For example, pand, pand is a sack. Panda, we write panda, ek pand, do panda. It doesn't make sense if you say ek pand, do pand. pand. Thin bond. It doesn't make sense, right? Gand, ganda. Ek gand mari, do ganda mariya. Okay? You can't say ek gand, do gand, thin gand. That doesn't make sense. When a masculine na noun, it ends in a kanna, we change the kanna to la. For example, ganda, onion. Gande, ek ganda, do. You can't say do ganda. You can say do gande. Ek munda, do munde, right? When a feminine noun ends in a bihari, you add ada, kanna, and bindi. Ah, banai, banaiya, pari, pariya, choti, chotiya, kudi, kudiya, um, mitti, mittiya, kodi, kodiya, right? That's how you do it. Okay, next page. Now, tell me, do you remember what two sounds that da make? Tanka and da da, da and da. What sounds did da, da make at the beginning of a word? Da, da, right? What sounds does da, da make at the end of a word? Da, da, like a D, right? Now, one of your standards is you can answer questions from the text. Jat ne khet vich ki bijya. What did the farmer sow in the field? Now you're going to find the answer and write the answer here. Okay. Jad gande pak gaye ta jat ne ki kita. What did the farmer do when the onions ripened? Right. You will look back if you don't remember and you will write the answer here in Punjabi of course. Jat gande lake kar kime gya. How did the farmer go to his house with his onions? Okay. Choose singular and plural nouns from the chart on the previous page and write them on the table. So you will go to this page and you learn some singular and plural nouns, these ones, and you will copy them in the table in question number eight. Easy peasy, right? Okay. Now this one. You have to tell what sound do you hear? Tadda in gand. You will speak like this. Tadda in gand means not or sack. What sound? T or d. Now, does it come at the beginning of a word and end of a word? Right? If it comes at the end, it makes the sound d. Remember that. Okay? And then copy the word four times. Gand, 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 gand. Right? Easy? Tadda in toli. Toli. Toli, t, t, right? Comes in the beginning. Toli is a drummer. So you write t and you'll call 
copy totally, totally, totally. Easy? Then, but maybe on a day after, you can do this. You have to copy the poem. Tadda kanda tayadda, tadda kanda tayadda. Tid which tanka ganda which didda, ikko akkar do avaza. Tanki da de da meal hai tadda. So, what are you doing with this? You are reading it. You are speaking it and you are writing it and you are going to become an awesome, awesome Punjabi speaker and reader and writer and I will be so proud of you. Thank you so much for working with me today. Remember to work 5-7 minutes every day on your Punjabi lessons to become really good reader just like you are an amazing reader in Punjabi. Okay, so I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.